Hello friends, welcome to our channel Plants, Crochet, Cooking and More. Today I have something very special for you. It is a granny square which can be used in any of the projects you would like to. So let us start. Here I have taken a yarn and number 10 hook. First I will be making the magic ring. You can see how it is to be made. Magic ring is very important for crocheting because it helps us to get a neatly done circle in the middle of the project or in the starting of the projects. So after making the magic ring I am making three chains which is equivalent to one double crochet after that what you need to do is you need to make 16 double crochet around the magic ring Now see we have reached the starting point of the magic ring. Now the two ends are joined with the slip stitch. After that the thread is cut. Now a new yarn is being introduced to the project. Please to watch carefully because now the petals will be made the tension on the hook has to be kept normal neither too tight nor too loose as in the previous circle 16 double crochet were made here too in the second uh, row we need to make 16 petals I hope you are being able to understand where the petals are being made. I am working with the hook very slowly so that it becomes easier for you all to understand. As I told you earlier 16 number of petals are to be made after that when we reach uh, near the starting point with a simple slip stitch the two ends are joined now again you can see a new yarn is being introduced to the project similarly Three chains are made in the starting of the row as three chains I have been telling you again and again that three chains represent one double crochet. Please follow the steps carefully as this petal will be a bit different from the previous petal.
in this row two we have reached the end point and the starting point and the end point are joined with a slip stitch now a new yarn is being introduced in this particular row we will be working with three different types of stitches first the one which I am showing you now we will be working with two double crochet now you can see that after the two double crochet has been worked I will be doing three double crochet the difference uh, between two double crochet and three double crochet is that when we work with three double crochet the yarn has to be uh, wound on the crochet hook twice it is just that one step extra has to be done we are working with single crochet now again we'll be working with double crochet then after triple crochet to form the corner second corner for the granny square Similarly, you need to work all around the granny square till the starting point and the end point of this particular row meets and you join it with a simple slip stitch. We will be working one row with a single crochet. Now we will be working one row with a double crochet all around the granny square. 
one thing i would like to mention here is if you want to increase the number of rows the one which i am working now if you want to work more than one row you can work as per your choice you can make two rows three rows four rows as much as you wish last row that we will be doing is also a double crochet where in each chain space we will be making three double crochet then we'll make one chain and then skip one chain and go into the next chain space again for this particular project we will be needing two granny squares so you can keep your granny squares ready and we will complete this particular project in the second part of the video so stay tuned and do not forget to share subscribe and comment if you have liked the video please hit the like button and keep watching our videos we will be there with more and more interesting videos in future bye bye